We're asked, which of the following vectors have the same x component as vector a? And they tell us to select all that apply. So this is vector a right over here. We only have to concern ourselves with the x component. That's what they're asking us about. So let's think about what its x component is. We're starting at this point right over here, which has an x value of negative 2. And we're going from negative 2 to, or we're going from x equals negative 2 to x is equal to negative 5. So our change in x, or another way to think about it, our x component, we're going from negative 2 to negative 5. We just, our x value goes down by 3. So we have negative 3. We could say our change in x is equal to negative 3. Or that would also be the x component of vector a. We could say that vector a is equal to, its x component is negative 3. We're not concerning ourselves with our y component, but we see that our y goes up by 1. So it's negative 3 comma 1. But we just want to, we just care about our x component. So let's think about what other vectors here have an x component of negative 3. That if we start at our initial point and go to the terminal point, our x value has gone down by 3. Well, we're going to start with vector, with vector b here. And let's see, if we start there, if we start, our x value is 3 at our initial point, our starting point for that vector. And then to go to the x value of the terminal point, we once again, we went down by 3. So this has the same x component. Vector b, vector b is going to be negative 3 comma something. So I will select that one. Now let's think about vector c. Vector c starts here at x equals negative 4, and then it ends at x equals negative 1. So its x component is going to look, one way to think about it, our change in x is going to look like this. And you might be tempted to say this is the same thing. It has a length of 3. But notice, we're not going 3 to the left the way that we did in vector a or in vector b. We're going 3 to the right. So here, our change in x is positive 3. And so vector c, vector c is going to be positive 3 comma something. So it's not going to be vector c. Now let's look at vector d. Vector d starts over here. That's its x value is negative 6. And we're going from x equals negative 6 to x equals negative 9. So once again, we have gone down. Our change in x is negative 3. So that has the same x component. If I were to say vector d, I would say it's negative 3 comma something. I haven't figured out what these are, but I don't need to for this problem. So vector d also has the same x component, an x component of negative 3. And we're done.